Hey, hey, we're gonna start the video off with a promo for Rose Forever. Y'all know I love them. Rose Forever is a, a New York based brand. They started out in 2019. They design uh, rose boxes with natural roses and these are supposed to last up to a year uh, with proper care, of course. Any boxes that I've gotten have lasted a year or more, okay? Um, they use natural oils and preservatives on the roses. Like literally when I open the box, it smells amazing. These are handcrafted uh, bouquets as well um, by professionals, all right? So the materials, even with the suede, even the, I got the black velvet. That's usually my vibe, my go-to, but um, are, are vegan, okay? Um, they're created through a natural process of pigmentation to keep the, the intense colors and stuff as well. Um, and they're allergen free. All right. So there's a huge collection, you guys, different colors, different color combinations, different box shapes. You just have to find what works for you. Valentine's Day is coming up. Get you a gift for yourself. Get you a gift for someone you love, someone close to you. Um, I love these, you guys. So, also, I'm going to have a discount code for $40 off. So, check the description box for that. Um, I believe it's Genesis 40. I don't have it in front of me right now. But, yes, look at the lid, y'all. It's just a vibe. Y'all already know. It's just a vibe. So, yeah, tap in with the Valentine's Day gifts, okay? This, this could be something for yourself. If you like flowers, if that's your thing. You don't have that green thumb because I don't have a green thumb and I have these um, all over uh, as decoration and they're just gorgeous. All right. So we got that out of the way. Let's get started on the other reading, my dear Gemini's. So what's up, Gemini gangs? Okay. Let's see what is going on with you. All Gemini placements. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description of box. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit that subscribe. Y'all been getting lazy with these likes, okay? Y'all hit those likes, hit those likes. If you do nothing at all, if you support the channel, that is free support, guys. All right? If you're going to watch, like, all right? Um... Let's see what we got. We got Healing Earth. <laughs> That's how we're starting off. Now, did this come out last time? Because if it did, I'm not taking it. And the reason for that is um, I don't feel like the message should be repeated. Power to give and receive healing. I love that. Give and receive. If you're going to be on YouTube watching free content, at least support the, uh, the creator, you guys. Don't just be watching it and absorbing free stuff and not giving back. Okay? Now, um... This is 46, which uh, which adds to a 10, which reduces to a 1. So number 1 might, might be significant to a lot of you, <coughs> Gemini's, okay? So let's see what Healing Earth. And then also this says Angelic Assistance, which is number 6, one of my favorite numbers. Mm -hmm. And no, it's not evil. Um, this one is Divine Guidance and Loving Support. Again, more things about support, Okay. So let's see what Healing Earth is talking about. <laughs> yes. All right. So the power to give and receive healing. The priestess of the earth stands. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Okay. The priestess of the earth stands with her back against a sacred ancient tree, channeling life-giving energy to and from Mother Earth herself. This card reveals that a time of great healing is at hand for you, for others, and even for the planet. Love it. If you have a physical concern, now's the time to call up earth energy and bring it into your body, mind, chakras, and energy system. You can also bring together divine healing rays to com commute with the earth, uh, radiating in your own heart center, radiating through your cell of your being, through every cell of your being. You have a powerful energy vibrating within which could heal yourself and others. In fact, this card is calling you to awaken to the power that bring that loving resonance to the people and issues that need it the most. 
You may have spent past lives working in some type of healing capacity, whether at, of a formal mainstream um, sort, even as a uh, such as a doctor or a nurse or an energetic or spiritual one. Interesting, such as a shaman or hands-on healer. So some of you do this now, um, or you're being called to, you know, even if it's just like something on the side, right? Like you don't have to quit everything and do it, like drop everything. If you feel so compelled, listen to the call of your soul and let yourself explore the healer's path in these or other arts. Love it. There is so much broader myth. There is a much more broader message in this card. However, for you um, are also called to heal the earth itself. We are at a point in our shared karmic journey where we must make choices that honor our environment and bring healing to the land and seas and all the inhabitants of our precious planet. Know that you are a force in making this a reality. Sending your loving, healing intentions outward will bring blessings to the planet, to you, and to every creature. Affirmation. I am one with the healing power of the earth. My choice to honor with earth. Uh, uh, if I can talk. My choice to honor earth energy brings expanded blessings to the world. So first thing that comes to my mind, and it's interesting that I did that, um, that I did that promo because the promo was talking about vegan um, materials but I feel like some of you guys may be considering going vegan and I've been considering this so comment below if you've been considering like changing your diet like going vegetarian and going vegan or something like that because I've been considering going vegan um although of course that's not gonna resonate with all of you okay oh also we have wisdom here on the bottom of the deck which is learning joy art and music so some of you need to kind of tap back into your creative side your creativity um gemini's this is a 29 which reduces to an 11 okay um let's see what's going on you you always want to gain wisdom through i love it six of pentacles gain wisdom through your your creativity uh gemini's queen of pentacles page of cups okay so this is equal give and take now of course i'm just i'm just being my regular goofy self when i'm mentioning those likes but this is there's a scale here so this is about karma and i'm using myself as an example because i like to use examples that make sense if you are constantly absorbing things from people and you're not giving back even something as simple as a youtube like you're going to block your blessing and i feel like people uh, uh spirit is wanting you to learn how to give more um if you want to receive more or vice versa you might be an over giver right you need to learn how to receive. Some of you guys are going to be put in a place to um, to give more. But the, the Six of Pentacles is an interesting card. It, it kind of reminds me of the Five of Swords in a sense that there's a lot of characters here. So you could either be the giver or you could be one of the people here on the bottom that need. Okay? So I feel like there's about to be a balance uh, going to be put into place. Okay? Um yeah actually too i recently saw like a whole a content creator if i remember i'll link it but a content creator um was talking about how um they were feeling like underappreciated i never feel underappreciated by you guys but they were talking about how they were feeling underappreciated and things like that but i mean i don't see how you could feel that way uh, when you get to do something that you love but I do feel like if I if I'm supporting my because I have my favorite creators I always like their videos sometimes I'll donate and give and things like that because I know that it'll come back to me you know sometimes it comes back tenfold right but you know if you are absorbing something from someone if you're learning from someone or whatever the case may be try to give to them even if it's not money you know what I'm saying anything helps energetically yeah the world here on the bottom if someone is like helping you get through stuff it's it's always good to to do your part um gemini's or people in general <laughs> y'all really really i love this you guys yeah five of swords so again i just mentioned the five of swords you could be either person here okay the five of swords and you could be this person here in the front in the green or you could be one of those two in the back all right so think about it like this think about when you know you are um 
you're always giving and always helping, right? And then that person, that person never really gives back to you. Like you're gonna feel away. So I mean, I understand where the where they were coming from, but this is I feel like there's a reason why this came out, especially after me mentioning what I mentioned. Try to balance things out in your life, um, Gemini's. And if you're the overgiver, you need to learn how to receive. But I've I've noticed a lot of times when people are overgivers, they are undergiving somewhere else. They're, they're takers somewhere else, I promise you. Um, so take a look at your life and see where you might be um, might be taking advantage of, of a situation. Because if you're an overgiver, giver, I feel like that's nine times out of ten um, spirit balancing out where you might be taking somewhere else. So just that's going to involve some type of self-reflection in your life and all that. I'm not going to dive too deep into this. Um, now this could get this gives kind of self sabotage energy, uh, Gemini's. But this could also be you like surrendering to something, you like letting go of something, you walking away because, like I said, the two in the back are walking away. This person, you know, wanted a fight. You know, this this person wanted a reaction, and these two were like, you know what, fuck it. They just you know threw the swords down. You can have it, you know. So I feel like that's kind of where either you are or someone in your energy is. Yes, uh, Nine of Cups, love it in the sun. I love it, Gemini. This is how we're starting off. <laughs> this is also too about, this could be about standing up for yourself too. Um, instead of walking away, some of you may need to stand up for yourself regarding a situation as well. Like you need to speak up for yourself. Okay, we'll, we'll find out. I'm seeing the sun too on the bottom of this deck as well. So I'm seeing like, a lot of positive energy for you, um, Gemini. You're getting a lot more happy with yourself. But I feel like it's because things are starting to balance out. You're starting to receive things um, that you've given or vice versa. Okay, You're learning how to give more. You're learning how to be more open, um, Gemini. Especially if you are like you play a big part in someone's life. I feel like someone may... Uh, start to come in and be more appreciative, appreciative uh, towards you, Gemini's. It could simply be like spirit because we have this angelic assistance card here. So it could simply be spirit that is is coming in and balancing things out for you. Mm hmm. Knight of Pentacles. That's what that's on the top. But it's a whole bunch of other. The sun again. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to like find, find your center. Find what works for you. See, I'm starting to get uh, tongue tied. Some of you have a um, you need to do some um throat chakra um meditations or exercises. So Google that. First of all, Google the signs of a, a blocked throat chakra. That makes sense with this. Some of you may need to stand up for yourself regarding a situation. Look up a blocked throat chakra, um, Gemini's. But not only do you need to stand up for yourself, but you need to act on the stand up. Like you can't, you can't stand up for yourself and then continue to take the bullshit. Like you have to stand up for yourself and then you need to walk away. OK, if if they're not willing to adjust to your boundaries, uh, Gemini's. All right. So don't don't just stand up for yourself and then continue to stay um, putting up with the bullshit. King of Pentacles. Let me find out the tower here on the bottom. I love this. I love this. I love it. Love it. Love it. So, um. Divine counterpart energy, but this also gives me like a balance, like I've been talking about in the whole entire reading, a balance between your uh, masculine and feminine energy, um, Gemini's. But you could also be uh, meeting a healing partner, a partner that's going to be very healing for you, um, Gemini's. I had a meme too that I was going to post that said something along the lines of that. It says something like, um self-care is is true love or something like that i don't know i have to look but i feel like gemini's you're gonna meet someone that is going to be very loving very supportive um it'll be equal give and take 
from this situation, uh, Gemini's. Mm -hmm. The Emperor. <laughs> Divine Masculine Energy. Wow. But again, this could be you needing to boss up, uh, Gemini's. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. There is a situation here because there's three people in this card and there's a Three of Pentacles here. So I feel like there could be a situation, uh, Gemini's, where you are needing, there's something that you need to handle or you need to speak up on. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Or someone may be saying something to you, like someone may feel like they have something to hash out with you. Okay, so take that how it resonates with you. But this can also be uh like you know you going from this fighting energy to working together so someone may not want to fight with you anymore and they want to work together with you so if you do have someone that's that's like wanting to fix it or wanting to yeah thank you spirit for showing me that two of cups so if you do have someone that's like wanting to fix something or wanting to work something out i feel like um i feel like Say what you need to say, like Gemini's. I feel like don't hold back in what you, you want to say. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. Also, pick your battles, too. Because you don't have to go back and forth with a person. And, and I went, uh, I kind of, I won't dive too deep into that in this read. But you don't have to go back and forth with a person. You can say what you say. You say what I said, and that's it. It's not up for debate. Like you don't have to go back and forth with someone. I don't. I don't never do that. I used to, but it's it's draining because I've learned that that person really isn't arguing with me. They're arguing with themselves. Like they're trying to convince themselves. So say I'm on social media, and someone posts a comment, and I post, you know. Uh, I agree, blah, blah, blah. And then if someone comments on my comment, like disagreeing with me, I won't even say anything. Or I'll be like, I'll just let you talk to yourself. I said what I said, that's it. Like, well, I'm not going to go back and forth with you because I'm already confident in, in what I'm saying. So I don't need to go back and forth with you because I don't need to prove shit to you. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. So if you do need to stand up to someone, Gemini, say what you need to say and leave it at that. They can agree and respect your boundaries or they can get the fuck off. That's it. Okay. <laughs> you ain't got to agree, but you got to respect it. All right. Page of Wands. Love it. Knight of Wands. I see Leo, Sag, um, Capricorn, Taurus, heavy, heavy, uh, heavy earth and fire in the chart. We only have one sword card, which is interesting. Um, everything else is earth, fire, uh, which is which is the earth. Interesting. Uh, yeah, okay. So um, with the Knight of Wands here, I feel like there could be something that you are needing to uh, go towards or uh, try out. Or like I said, there's something that you might need to confront or someone you need to confront or someone is going to attempt to confront you about something so just be on the lookout for that but i do see it, it'll end up um gemini's it'll end up with you uh ending up in some type of partnership that is going to be healing um you getting some type of wish fulfillment and i feel like this is you may even work with this person and what i mean is you'll start a business with this person or y'all work in the same place or something like that um, Gemini's, you're getting some type of wish fulfillment. You're getting some good news. You're coming, I feel like you're coming out of some type of conflict, but it's, it's going to require some action from you though. So whether it be you needing to walk away or you needing to be the one to speak up about something. Temperance card here on the bottom. Yeah. You definitely need to balance something out here. Also, you guys, um, well, let me, let me pull a card first before I say it. <laughs> oh, I knew this was going to come out. Um, where are my, and I don't have my stuff in here. I have these, these little sticky things. Hold on y'all, because 
the world is nude. So we have the world here. Mm hmm. So you accomplishing something, uh, Gemini's, but something is like coming to some type of end or some type of complete stop. The Knight of Wands again. Some of you have Sag in your chart or you're dealing with a Sag. I'm seeing the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Swords. So yeah, I'm seeing an energy shift with you and I feel like that's, that's going to be great always anyways. Um, but I do feel like you're attracting some type of uh, partnership to you. Either you're getting balanced within yourself, Gemini's, or you're attracting some type of partnership to you that is going to um, be very healing for you. It's like some next level. If you're about to close out a cycle. Thank you, Spirit, because we're seeing the scales again, um, Gemini's. You're about to close out some type of karmic cycle. For some of you, it's love. For some of you, it's your money. Now, if it's your money, oh, it's going to be love for some of you. Two of Cups. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. If it's money, Gemini's, I feel like some of you guys need to get out of. Um, wow. No way. No way, Gemini's. <sighs> now, I'm seeing the Three of Swords here on the bottom. So, let me say this, okay? Um, this this confirms what I was about to say. Well, I was going to speak on money. But some of you need to get out of a poverty mindset. You need to get out of having a lack mindset. If you don't give because you don't know where your next dollar is coming from. Um, like I said, literally giving anything. Um you know, time, energy, whatever. Some of you are putting your time and energy into the wrong things as well. That's also coming from a place of lack. So if, if your money is messed up, I feel like there is an energy shift that needs to happen or an energy shift that is happening right now. So let me, let me give you examples of things that can fuck up your money, your finances. Um, I want to do a money read too for the collective uh, today. But some stuff that can mess up your money is not paying your bills on time or not paying people back when you're supposed to um taking from people and not giving even if it's you know something as simple as um you know say you have a co-worker that that brings you lunch and stuff sometimes or all the time or whatever no matter what you have people are appreciative and even if they turn it down uh gemini's that's coming from a place of lack, like always taking and never giving no matter who it is, because if you if you claim you're an overgiver and this is my a recent discovery of mine with me journaling and stuff. If you're claiming you're an overgiver is you're overtaking somewhere else. I promise you. So if you journal and see where you taking advantage of someone, I guarantee you are taking advantage some from of someone or something somewhere else in your life. I promise you. I saw it in myself. And I had to correct the energy. So I'm like, if I'm over giving to this person and I feel like I'm not getting it back, nine times out of ten, I'm doing the same thing somewhere else. And I found it. Okay? So pay attention to that. All right? Um, not paying your bills. Okay? Having negative feelings about your bills that blocks your money flow. Um, not... Uh, rendering a service that you gave I see this shit all the time not rendering a service that you're supposed to give <laughs> how many times have you bought a service from someone and you it's you getting a runaround from them that's that's somewhere that's gonna block your money as well it's a lot of different things but that's just a few examples um Gemini's and that's like I said there's you have some type of blockage and it could be your heart chakra uh, going on here especially if you have a problem with giving or if you're coming from a place of black that's your heart chakra and it's I find it interesting that the background of this is green um so and I mean you're not giving to situations you are receiving from or that you're taking from I'm not talking about just going and giving money to people on the street or whatever that's not what I mean at all I mean where you are getting better from you're gaining wisdom from um wisdom uh whoop, I'm seeing knowledge places that you're getting knowledge from places that you're getting assistance 
from and you're not giving back in any way uh it's going to fuck up other areas of your life it's it's always going to be balanced spirit is always going to balance shit out okay i tell you guys i'm I, when i discover something i'm gonna let y'all know okay if something in my life is out of balance i'm always going to find out what's going on okay or where it is i tell you that i am serious about my self mastery and my personal development i take it very very seriously eight of cups yep someone moving away from conflict <sighs> whatever this is gemini you're this is going to work itself out but i do feel like for some of you you need to um there's going to be you, you want to get something off your chest that's kind of what i get with that and then you'll be able to move forward so if y'all decide to move forward together fine mm -hmm. yeah five of wands if you decide to not move forward together uh that's fine as well uh gemini's i feel like you're going to be okay with whatever outcome but pay very close attention because this is this is saying the power to give and receive healing but i feel like this is the power to give and receive period where are you over giving and where are you under giving pay very close attention to that okay because it'll balance itself out and it's going to feel unfair at first because you're not self-aware. It's going to feel like you're being taken advantage by this of this person because you're not paying attention to yourself or where you're not giving enough um, in other areas. Let's get one more, Sarah. Let's get one more. Child. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Um, King of Swords. So could be an Aquarius, some of you are dealing with. I feel like for some of you, um, there's definitely some type of insecurity here between you and a person. But I'm also getting to that someone's wish fulfillment is to kind of have you tied up, you know, it's not literally, even though that's what it has in the card. Okay figuratively have you tied up um with them like wanting you to sometimes this could mean like some like blind loyalty that's sometimes i get that with this card um gemini's i do want to pull another one because i kind of want to know um what that's about oh so i split the deck i don't need to see nothing else thank you spirit <laughs> I've seen all I need to see. I split the deck. I see the Empress. That's exactly what it is. Somebody wants you tied up with them. Somebody wants you to not be able to leave, not be able to get away from them. Child, please. All right. Um, right. I'm not going to pull anything else because we are already at almost 30 minutes. All right. So hit those likes, Geminis. Hit those subscribes, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.